Well, the term well-formulated ketogenic diet is one that um, I like to use and it, because it, you know, there are a lot of people attempting ketogenic diets and prescribing them that may or may not understand all the nuances that go into formulating the diet. So we often focus on the carb restriction, and that's a, certainly a, a, a major component of a ketogenic diet is to get carbohydrate levels, usually below about 40 grams, but it varies from person to person. Some people may require less than 35 grams. Some people may be able to consume 60 grams and still be in ketosis. So, um, so that is something that needs to be uh, um, you know, experimented with on an individual basis and through trial and error. But that's just one component. Um, in order for a, the diet to really be safe, effective, and sustainable long term, you know, one also needs to get protein in the right range, not too high, not too low. Uh, so it's not a high protein diet, but it's not a protein deficient diet either. So that has to be titrated to some extent as well. The quality of fat becomes very important. So obviously fat becomes the primary nutrient uh, on a ketogenic diet, and the types of fat are, are very important to focus on. So uh, very briefly, it's, it's really the saturated and monounsaturated fats that are the preferred sources of fat on a ketogenic diet, and so we don't need a lot of polyunsaturated fats. In fact, if you overemphasize soybean oil or uh, corn oil, for example, that's very high in omega-6 fatty acids, that becomes very unpalatable and not sustainable and potentially makes the diet you know, uh, not, not as effective as well. Um, the other major effect of a ketogenic diet that's different than a non-ketogenic diet is the, um, the uh, mineral nutriture. Uh, and in particular, a ketogenic diet is associated with an accelerated loss of sodium, which can be a good thing if people are retaining excess fluid. This loss of sodium, you also lose some fluid with that, and that's often a good thing. But if you don't compensate for that extra sodium loss, you can end up with a lot of side effects um, that uh, range from just feeling tired and lethargic to fainting to headaches. Um, and down, you know, down the road, if it continues long enough, you can end up with um, imbalances in other minerals like potassium and magnesium that ultimately not only minimize some of the effectiveness of the diet, but can make it unsustainable for folks. So understanding some of these uh, you know, different um, nutrient requirements beyond just the carb restriction um, all kind of factor into a, what, what I would consider a well-formulated ketogenic diet.